we look forward to seeing each other at the end of the day. At first glance, Nicole Schulten's daily routine seems just that, routine. There's that smile. But when Nicole's daughter Lucy comes home from school, it all changes. You look super smiley. 12-year-old Lucy has severe epilepsy. I love my daughter just as she is. But Nicole knows Lucy struggles with simple tasks. Feeding her fish, for example, requires a specialized machine. Oh, there you go. I'm feeding you fishes. Yep, yep, yep. Lucy sitting up. As an infant, Lucy started having seizures up to 300 a day. When I met her, she had another one. Wow, sir, that's a seizure. I'm right here with you, kiddo. And for Lucy, prescription right drugs here. aren't cutting it. Heavy hitting drugs that all came with crummy side effects. One was worse than the next. Now Nicole wants her daughter to try marijuana in the form of medicine. But the stakes are high because pot is illegal in the Buckeye State. Instead of being looked at as heroes doing right by our child, we could potentially be looked at as criminals. Nicole and her husband considered moving to a state where medical marijuana is legal. We don't believe that you should have to make those terrible choices. We don't believe that you should have to move in order to have the right to effective medicine. Nicole knows skeptics don't think pot has a place in a family's medicine cabinet, but she's convinced the controversial plant has the power to heal. I personally know individuals who have moved from the state of Ohio to Colorado and are finding great success with their children. Nicole is hopeful Lucy will be able to find that success in her own backyard. The great thing is that lawmakers are taking the time to learn cannabis is a medicine as any other medicine and our children deserve the right to trial it. Nicole and Lucy took part in a recent medical marijuana forum in Cincinnati organized by two Ohio State Senators. The listening tour and similar hearings before a House task force could lead to a ballot proposal for voters this November. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Well,